Adventures on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, and today's episode is all about mods. I've added some workshop items from Steam onto my game. Uh, and so we'll see how that goes. But if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you're watching YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Try to get to 120 followers and affiliated. So if you do follow me, please watch me live. That really helps me out. Check out the link in the description below for the playlist. See previous episodes or the future ones, depending on when you're watching this. And of course, check out the channel on other social media as well for other stuff posts. I might also enjoy. Right, let's get straight into this one then. Uh, so it is not showing the game, which is absolutely lovely. <laughs> Why are you not showing the game? Uh, game capture, edits. <laughs> it wasn't showing the game for some reason. Right, so we've added some mods into the game uh, or some workshop items. Um, when we left off, it was still this one that was the word. So boric acid from London to Felix, so 2,500 pounds. So let's take that job. Hopefully everything works. This is the only thing with, uh, when you add workshop items, you want to make sure everything works. Uh, everything is up to date with the current game version you have. If you add any, um, if you add any workshop items, you've got to make sure they're up to date or don't clash with any old ones. And if you're going to remove any, you want to make sure you don't have any on your vehicle or trailer or whatever just when you remove it to make sure it doesn't crash your game either. Because obviously we started fresh and we didn't have any in the first one, adding all of these, it shouldn't affect it at all. But yes, here we are. Um, kind of here. We're in this Renault. Um... Here we are, in this nice Renault here. Have we got the engine on? I don't think we have. Now we have. Uh, just make sure the brake is on. So here we go, out, out from the next one. Um, take our lovely shot of episode number two. Uh, right, so we are heading, uh, obviously to Felix though on this one, um, I don't think I've ever driven this before, even in my previous, previous times, because this is quite a new truck. Um, put it into gear. There's gear one. We have that. Uh, we should have automatic lights on. Take the brake off. Should be away. Oh, it's not a very powerful truck, this one. Uh, as we're driving along, though, we should discover some more roads. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, again, no damage. Don't want any damage. Don't want any fines. Uh, and hopefully we can see some of the um, some of the bits we put in. So we'll just look out here. Make sure there's cars coming this way. Just want them to go first. That's fine. Right, let's check that way. Nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. Back to number one. And we're out. Uh, we actually want to get over because we're going this way around right about. Ooh, the brakes on this are really sharp compared to the Mercedes. Nothing coming around right about. Right, off we go then. I can hear a police helicopter. That is quite common within London. Uh, checking my mirror. Yeah, we can get all the way over. Up to 30. Oh. There you go. Cruise control on. So we let the truck dry for us. It's a two hour journey from here, uh, all the way to uh, Felix though. With these, they're all easy deliveries at the start. Um, so, your, um, your timings are quite good. You don't have to rush. You're not having to speed anywhere or do anything. You see them swerving with that truck. So it is quite nice. You can just relax and drive along. Uh, as obviously you progress, 
you do get the tighter delivery schedules where you do need to be, you know, um, you know, a bit quicker, not as leisurely. Getting stuck in traffic or having a diversion is really not uh, what you want. We are picking up some speed here. I don't think this weighs too much, to be honest. Oh, we're in the wrong lane. We just want to brake a little bit to let this car go past. There we go. Now we can pull in. Just want to slow down. The brakes on this are really... They are really good. The speed, the speedometer on this is also very clear because it's digital. Full throttle now up here. I've got cars right behind me. Not giving me no room. Right, so we want to pull out into the fast lane because that's Cambridge. We're not going Cambridge. Let this coach go past us. And now we'll pull out into the middle lane. There we go. Down, down a hill now. Oh, undertake me and then pull in. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, UK is 60 mile an hour for trucks, so we can just keep the foot on the floor. We are turning off the next junction. Auto saving the game. Oh my god. Make sure we pull in. There we go. Still flooring it. Only going 58. 59 and we're up to 60 we can have the cruise control on oh it's gonna lean oh my god we're off we're off we're off <laughs> saved it there you go there's one of the mods come the other way uh that is one thing that has been updated in the game that I do have to get used to. In the old game, there was basically there was no no thing of suspension, like the trucks were as rigid as possible, and whatever. Now they've updated the physics in the game so much that I have got to get used to back where you do have to brake to go around corners. You need to go a lot slower, otherwise you are going to roll them. So almost a disaster there. Like I said, there's no need to rush, and I was kind of rushing for no reason. There you go, truck pulling into the uh, petrol station. Um, I wonder if there's actually any new cars. Oh, I need to pull into the this lane here. Oh, we're speeding a little bit. There we go. Uh, I've turned the barriers off, so if you're new to the game... You have barriers where they're like uh, yellow arrows or X's telling you where the exits and entrances where like you, you can't enter those areas and sort of avoid and go around. If I was proper brand new to the game, I would leave them on. I would leave them on. Uh, I wouldn't turn them off until you're sort of used to the game. Obviously, I'm used to this part of the maps. I've, I've driven here since UK, so since 2010, 14 years I've been doing this. Well, not doing streaming or playing it, but like playing the game. So I'm kind of used to where all the parts are. Um, maybe when we venture. Um, let's actually... Oh, no, not 70, 60. There we go. Um, maybe when we go to the new part of the map that I've never before. That's a new car. That's new. I've never seen that before. I've seen that before. Is this an off? This is an off. One thing about the UK is very old road layouts where sort of the outside lanes always turn off. Um, whereas when you get to the newer parts, it's it's not. You see a lot of... I'm um, just going to get in. Yeah, we can get in. Um, 
you you see a lot of slip roads and, and bits like this. Whereas this this isn't. This is this is still very old map. Right, can we pull over? Yes, we can. There's a mini. The variety of obviously the, the trucks and the cars and the AI has much, much greater improved. Oh, they have been pulled over, probably for speeding. Naughty, naughty. But yeah, this this truck isn't too bad actually. Um, I thought it'd be much lower powered, but it seems to have a very powerful engine, but very basic actual um, cab. So cheap body, cheap, basically cheap apart from the engine and the gearbox. Right here we go. Then we are going to slow down. So we're just gonna brake. Good job the brakes are good on this, because I did break a bit too late then. Oh my god, keep braking. I'm gonna sort of keep under 30 down here. Yeah, a bit more braking. Okay, now we can floor it. Just gonna go into the slow lane once we get through here. Yes, we can pull over. There's more road discovered. Uh, I don't actually know which company we're going into. Um, some companies where you go into, you, you have different levels of parking. So 90 is obviously quite hard, but then some are like places where it's really easy to park. So you don't, um, you know, you, you don't have that sort of um, luxury of bonus XP, if that makes sense. That is a 30. That's 50. And that, and that slow down to 30, yeah. These are... Now, these don't actually work like average speed cameras. You get caught underneath them. Here we go. Felix, though, discovered... There are some places harder to deliver than others. Um, uh, and it's mainly actually in the older maps like the UK where they are harder to deliver than the new ones. The newer parts of the map, the, the depots are, are absolutely massive. They look like proper truck depots. Whereas in, in the UK, they, they, <laughs> they sort of don't. They're not really like big industrial estates. Like they are in the newer parts of the map. So it says, obviously, back to national speed limit, which is weird, and it goes 30. But, um, yeah, we're just going to wait in this traffic. We could be in the other lane, but there's no rush. We'll just stay in this one. Ooh. Car in front absolutely slamming the brakes on. See so a uh, container... Trailer different to that. There's tankers. We we can't. We can, I think we can do milk, but we can't do stuff like them at the moment. But they are very profitable tankers. Wow! I had to wait for that to go around. Oh, broken down cars. That's new as well. There's so many new AI vehicles and everything. Um, we're actually going really far down. I want to be in this lane before the roundabout. So as you can see, we can go that way. We can't go that way. Now, if you had the proper things on, you'd have obviously red X's there. Um, but I've turned them off. Just to make it look more realistic. Right, here we go then. We're, we're pulling in now into LKW. 
Um, it will, uh, funny enough, <laughs> it will only show you things that you've unlocked as well. So the the um, the high level you go, the more different traders you have. I see here that like, only forty, so it's not it's not you know as bad to deliver into. Oh, parking button engaged. There we go. Right. So as the higher you go, we'll unlock. So we won't see any tanker trailers or anything like that yet. Uh, we also won't see any fragile cargo because we haven't unlocked that. Um, or uh, heavy cargo. I say, but yeah, we're basically straight on this. So we just go back. straight at all. I need to really swing that in. What have I done? I've noticed there's a bus stop across the road as well, actually. So they might have updated a little bit. On the um, on the U on the UK, put a few props in and that, but not really done anything else. There we go. Uh, I do need to set a button up actually to unlock the trailer. Uh, but ninety-two miles, two hours, twelve minutes. Let's see what this here. We're not going to get to the next level. But we are going to get close. Uh, if we look, however, we've got an email. So let's read the emails. Need money, we can help. So the bank. So if we go to the bank here, uh, we can take out this big loan here, which means we could get we could get a used truck um, with 86. However, if we go to the used trucks, because I've never seen this before, I mean... The Mercedes one here, right? One percent wear. Not really bothered about that. It is rated a five star. Seventy five thousand isn't a big, big amount of discount though. Um, but they all, I think they're all the lowest level trucks. I don't think any of them are actually. You've got left hand and you've got right hand. I'm pretty sure they're all the lowest level. So we don't really want to take them out anyway. Um, if we look at the job market now, quick job again we can now go from three different places which obviously help us out uh and we've got places like this ice cream cambridge to Grimsby, four thousand twenty six per mile um that will obviously take us a bit further a lot more um a lot more money and a lot more coming and another new place to get deliveries so um yeah and it's Back, I think it's in the runner we just drove. 380 horsepower is not powerful. And then you've got this 480 olives to Lille. That takes us into France. So you see this here. But uh, yeah, 19 tons of ice cream. Uh, at the moment, you can't select what trailer you want. Once you have your own truck, then you can select the types of trailers you want to carry. And selecting different types of trailers can get you bigger loads um but that's that's it again for, for episode number two um these are quick ones we are going through them quickly but in the next episode we'll take the next one along and we'll hopefully get there um a lot quicker and and, and we'll just keep progressing and progressing but yeah as always if you have enjoyed this please like and subscribe watch me youtube follow me on twitch to get to 120 followers and affiliate it's a do funny Please watch if you like, it really helps you out. Check out the link in the description below for the playlist, the previous episode, or the future ones, depending on when you're watching this. 